What's up everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create unique detailing with diamonds inside of Blender. You can obviously use whatever objects you want, it doesn't have to be diamonds, but in this case, we're gonna be using diamonds. I'm gonna import a garment to Blender and then I'm gonna detail it in Blender for you. So I hope you guys do enjoy. Please make sure to drop a like, comment, sub if you do, and thanks so much for watching. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is importing our reference image. So I'm gonna be using a Nocta logo. I'm gonna be using diamonds for my detailing. You guys can use stars, whatever you want it's up to you i'm using this blender kit add-on you can download it off the blender kit website so there's a couple options here we're going to be just using this first diamond import that in so i'm going to click on the diamond right click and say clear and keep transform this is just going to del delete the parenting between the diamond and the empty now from here we can just scale it up i'm going to go into my side view and just bring it forward when we zoom in we can see that it is at a slight angle so i'm going to make sure it is at 90 degrees can change it here we're going to go back to our front view and then let's just scale down this so that it is to scale bring it up a little bit and then let's rearrange this it's going to make this a tad bit bigger ideally i want four diamonds thickness so let's bring that up and then i'm going to use an array modifier to make it stretch along Let's make that four so we can actually make this a tad bit bigger and then we're going to use another ray modifier to make it go along the y-axis and let's set that to 10 18 maybe 21 okay so now essentially we're just going to do this throughout i'm going to speed up this process so that you don't have to sit around um, and then we're going to get to applying it to the garment Okay, so once the diamond logo has been completed, we're now going to import our hoodie. I'm going to be using the hoodie from my store. So let's quickly go to our folder where we have it downloaded. I'm just going to import the OBJ and then we can bring it down to the middle here. Click on our diamonds, just bring them up a little bit. And let's open up another tab here and go to our side view. You can press three on our keyboard to go to the side view. Now it is quite big at the moment, so I'm just going to scale it down a little bit more. So the next thing we want to do is add in a plane. So we're going to press Shift A on our keyboard to import a plane, rotate it by 90 degrees along the X axis and scale it down. It must be around the same size as your logo. So I'm just going to position it on the logo and then the closer you get the better so i kind of want the diamonds to be sitting inside of the shirt so i'm going to bring it up like that and then let's just position it nicely so that it fits our logo as best as possible and just scale it down a bit once we have that position we now need to add some subdivisions so you can click on your plane and press tab and then right click and say subdivide now i'm going to add about 100 cuts the more cuts the better because then it can essentially maneuver along the the fabric a lot better so once that's done we can now go into connecting it to the hoodie so for this we need to apply a modifier to the logo and then to the plane so for the diamonds i'm just going to join all of these so i'm going to select all my diamonds here in the layer panel right click and say convert to mesh and then i'm going to press ctrl j to join all of them and now we should have one object so in the layer here you can see we have just our diamonds so now that we have our diamonds we're going to add surface deform we're going to target this to our plane and then we're going to hit bind give it a few seconds to load once that's good uh, we're going to go to our plane and add a shrink wrap modifier and our target is going to be our hoodie now you'll see that it will bug out at first but don't worry about that we're going to set our snap mode to above surface and then we're going to send our wrap method to project now at first it'll reset but then if we hit negative it should go straight onto our hoodie which is exactly what we want and then we can hide this plane and just like that our logo has nicely been placed along the hoodie now when we go into our material preview mode we don't have any lights i'm just going to use the quick studio add-on quickly to add in some lighting hit add light and then go into cycles preview you can see how cool that really looks in cycles check that so this is what the final render looks like if this video did help you out 
Uh, please make sure to drop a like, comment, and sub. Uh, these files will be available in my VIP channel in my Discord. Make sure to join that if you are interested in getting any of my project files for free. Uh, it's a new feature. Otherwise, you can purchase my hoodie bundle or any of my other bundles off my store. Thanks so much for the support as always. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.